Okay, it's on. Okay, we'll start up here. Up here, Phil. Let's get it. Right there, this got volume. Yeah. Okay, right here's your starting batteries. They're two 12 volt batteries. They're hooked in series to, this is a 24 volt DC starting system. There's your two batteries. Other than that, these doors remain shut. Every morning, you'll want to check the oil. The engine oil dipsticks right here. You have your fuel filter housing. You have your air cleaner. And those need to be checked daily. And then these doors remain shut when this unit's running. It's always a good idea to open both doors up every morning. Make sure you don't have any oil spillage, antifreeze leaks, whatnot. And then these doors again will remain shut while running. Back here, these doors are shut when not in use. These two have to remain open at all times. This is where the engine gets its cooling air from. When those side doors are shut, it draws it in through here past the generator for cooling purposes. So while running, these remain open. Here you have your control panel. If you can come in here, let's get a look at these switches. We're going to run it in single operation. That remains in single. Can you see that? Yeah, let me zoom in. Okay. Okay. This switch remains in local because you want to look at your dials here, not, not remotely. Panel lights, whether you want them on or off, that's your choice. This is what's going to close the circuit breaker. Once the connections have been made and the generator's running, and you're ready to use the generator, you'll want to close the circuit breaker. It means she's going to be making electric electricity out through the lines. Here's your run, stop, and start switch. These engines start at idle all the time. Here's the throttle control right here. It pulls in and out or it dials in and out. That's how you're going to control the speed and the voltage of this generator. So we're going to go ahead and start it. I don't know what this will do for the noise, but I'll go ahead and walk through it first. That way you know what I'm going to do. This has a permissive start. When I go to the start position, I have to hold that in the start position until oil pressure is achieved and it will run on its own. Once that's accomplished, we're going to run the throttle up to 60 hertz. 60 cycles on the Hertz meter and at that time we'll be able to adjust the voltage up to 230 to 240 volts and this unit's real particular about over voltage so don't exceed much over 230 volts or it'll over voltage and shut down now we'll go ahead and you can film me doing this Phil everybody hand clear have to do this a couple times to get it to stay in the run position. That's just a self-centering switch.
once you've done that you can adjust your voltage this one unit number generator number two the lighter color of the two is very sensitive about over voltage so you don't want to exceed much over 230 volts on this one or it'll continually shut off so 230 volts 60 cycles you have your monitoring gauges here you'll be okay remember these doors remain open for cooling purposes now we'll come around here right here you have your connection block you'll come in and you'll tie it being line one line two line three and neutral three phase generator once you have that up to speed and everything's good and you're hooked up that's where the breaker close switch comes in and you'll close the breaker and you're supplying voltage to your equipment and that's about it the fuel the fuel fills right here Here's where you put the fuel in the machine. Again, check the oil, the fluids daily. Uh, and that's about it. And both units work identical. Okay. And that's that's about it. Um, it will take, these throttles don't lock very well. They have locking nuts on them. Once you get them out, you need to, you need to keep this stable. And you can thread them out to adjust them or pull them in and out. And that's how you'll adjust your 60 cycles and your 240 volts. Once you've achieved that, you can close these with the side covers closed and it'll, it's ready to go. That's it.